Deborah, I think it's important to ask you the first question about this because this is going to be, this is being submitted by Daniel Varga and he is the Chief Clinical Officer and Senior Executive Vice President at Texas Health Resources. And he says, um, number one, he apologizes, he says, unfortunately, in our initial treatment of Mr. Duncan, despite our best intentions and a highly skilled medical team, we made mistakes. We did not correctly diagnose his symptoms at, uh, as those of Ebola. We are deeply sorry. Also, he says, the hospital followed all CDC and Texas Department of State and Health Services recommendations in an effort to ensure the safety of all patients, hospital staff, volunteers, nurses, physicians, and visitors. Protective equipment included, included water, impermeable gowns, surgical masks, eye protection and gloves. Since the patient was having diarrhea, shoe covers were added shortly thereafter. What do you make of that? Well, it's one thing to uh, apologize for human error. Nurses understand that. We're all human. We make mistakes. But it is unforgivable that there was a lack of planning, a lack of preparation, and a lack of education. And that's what we heard from the nurses loud and clear when they heroically came forward and talked about the conditions that they had to work under during the time that they were providing care for Mr. Duncan and for Nina. So uh, I understand the apology, but we are still angry about the lack of preparation, education, and training. Well, did he, no, is he correct here? Is he, is he telling the truth or when he says that protective equipment, including water according, and permeable gowns? What, and, and according, according to the nurses that came forward to us, we believe that that is not the case.